Good morning, you guys. So Steven and I are about to head out to go look at some countertops. <laughs> so exciting. Um, I actually am really excited. We know basically what we want. There's Steven. Hello. Um, we know what we want. It's just a matter of finding it. So we're gonna try and go to the place that we got the countertops from our current house at. I really like them. I thought they did a good job. So we're gonna go there first, see if they have what we want for the new house. And then if not, try a different place and hopefully we'll be able to find somebody that can do it. Cause it's like a big job and we need like a lot, like really big slabs. So I just hope that we'll be able to get it and it won't like take too long. So like my hair, it's like crazy long. <laughs> we have to cut Ooh. his hair too. But um, yeah, so that's what's on the agenda. We'll bring you guys along and show you what we're thinking for the countertops. So these are the countertops we have in our current house. A little dirty right now because there's like stuff all over them, obviously, because we're about to move. But um, so we got them at the place that we're going to try it today. We want something different for the new house. Instead of white and gray, we want more white and black. But um, yeah, this is what we have currently. And they had a lot of selection when we went for this house. So we'll see. I got a new like silk mask, which is apparently better for like mask me. So we'll see. Mask me? Yeah, like acne from the mask. Steven, did, Steven forgot his mask, so he's wearing one of mine. So he says smiling. I'm not smiling. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're here at the countertop place. So let's see what they have. So we like this one and this one. And also this one for the island. The white and black on the island. Black and white on the kitchen countertops. All right, so there was a Hobby Lobby right by the countertop, please. So we couldn't resist. <laughs> well, Steven probably could resist, yeah, but I couldn't exactly. resist. I was like, we gotta go to Hobby Lobby because there's not one super close to us. So when I saw that there was one here, I was like, we gotta go. So we're here. I really want to get like a big like welcome sign or something for the front door, like something fall like. So hopefully they have something. I feel like they have really no like a big like sign like we have one on our front door now. It says home, but it's not really that big. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I want a big one that says like welcome. Maybe like with some leaves on it or something. I don't know. But I feel like Hobby Lobby has very good decor for like affordable prices. So hopefully they have something. You know, Sonic afterwards. Oh, yeah, there is a Sonic there. I don't really like Sonic. Your I don't parents know. Love Sonic. Yeah, my parents love it. I don't know. There's other places I prefer. They already have all of the Christmas stuff. Steven wants to get this nutcracker. That's pretty cool. <laughs> they like don't even have any fall stuff anymore because all the Christmas stuff is out already. Oh my God. How much it costs? How much? $400. No. <laughs> it's cute, but no. Not for 400 bucks. All right. Lots of Christmas stuff. Not a lot of what we were looking for. So that was kind of a bust. But it was cute to go, like see everything. Um, so now I think we're going to head to an outdoor lighting place. Because we want to replace the front like lanterns. Make them a little more modern. And the lighting by the garage door. It's just like a quick and easy way to kind of like modernize the outside of the house. So that's what we're gonna do now and go to this place that has like a lot of uh like outdoor lights and stuff to see them because we looked in home depot but didn't find anything we really loved so hopefully this place <laughs> we're like i'm vlogging and walking and i don't even know where the car is thank god i have steven to show me like ah, now it's over here <laughs> so we're gonna go check that out now i really like this one and i like this one too we have so many different ones okay so steven is taking down the older um front door lights because we got these new ones which are so beautiful i actually got these off wayfair and they were kind of like an oil rubbed bronze so steven actually went and just sprayed them with spray paint today and they look so beautiful now they're like crystal clear black before they had kind of like a blackish brownish tint to them and our front door is like pure black so i wanted it to match and not look off so that was super super easy quick fix instead of like having to return and everything and i actually don't think they came or they weren't in stock in like the crystal black like this so we just sprayed them and they look beautiful so i'm so excited it's really gonna just amp up this area these are just a little bit too old for my taste so excited to get the new ones up okay so you guys can see now steven just turned the light on there is the new fixture versus the old one i love the way the new one looks so so pretty just a lot more my style it's also a lot bigger and i just think it looks nicer with the door so yay i'm so excited we got the new ones off of wayfair so i can have them linked down below in the description box but yay so excited it just looks so much better <laughs> Okay, you guys, so we just got to see the new floor. It looks so good. So you guys will see the, the part that's still the wood color that it was before will be painted white. 
Um, I wanted the risers to be white, so that's why they still look like that. Um, and then the banisters are going to be changed when we do the um, iron balusters, so that's why those are still like that. But I'm so happy, it looks so pretty. Just like the perfect like grayish kind of neutral, which is exactly what I wanted, but I didn't want it to be like too, too dark. So I think it looks great, yay! And now the next step is to begin painting. Hello, you guys. I just look so dashing, don't I? <laughs> oh my goodness. Don't mind my appearance. Steven and I have literally been living in chaos for the past couple of days. Um, if you heard loud noises, that's Steven upstairs. There's the previous owner's TV mount behind me. There's just like nowhere for me to go that doesn't just look like chaos behind me. But basically they finished the floors so we were able to actually move stuff in. So all of our stuff is here, just nothing is really in its place because we are in the process now of painting. Um, so we've had painters here every single day, literally all day long, they're amazing. They come like so early in the morning, they stay all day. But a lot of places in the house that they were painting were like the main areas of the house where we would need to be like living. So we couldn't really live <laughs> for the past couple of days. Oh my gosh, I literally keep looking at myself in the viewfinder and I'm just like, girl, get it together. My appearance is an accurate representation of everything that's been going on. <laughs> so we weren't able to like actually set up our proper bedroom. We were literally sleeping on top of a mattress with no sheets because we couldn't find where the sheets were. So we just like a blanket on top of this mattress in one of the guest bedrooms for the past couple of days. But they finished painting our master bedroom today, which I'm so excited about. So we can actually set up our bed that came yesterday, got delivered yesterday. So Steven's upstairs putting it together. I'm gonna go help him a little bit, or at least like pretend like I'm helping him. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, so they finished painting that and they finished painting the beauty room, which I can show you guys. And they're working now on like the foyer and the dining room and stuff. We're gradually gonna be like painting everything, but I wanted to kind of do it room by room so I didn't have to rush figuring out paint colors. Like I had them paint the rooms that I knew the colors that I wanted to be painted. And then in some of the rooms like this family room behind us, um, I don't know what color I wanna do in there. So I haven't had them paint that yet. It's gonna be a process, you know? But let's go upstairs. We don't have any railings in right now. We have just like the handrail thing. You guys can see our old couches in there. That's not saying, but we need somewhere to sit for right now. We're gonna put that in the basement in this house. Um, but our actual spindles on our stairs should be installed within the next couple of days. They just did primer um, on this part today, um, which I think is called the handrail. But let me show you guys the master bedroom. All right, Steven is in here. Working, it's literally like midnight and we're doing this right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, we just wanna be able to like actually sleep in a bed. So this is the headboard. It has like a bunch of more pieces, so. Getting that all together. My dresser came in too. It's like a mirror dresser which matches our end tables. Cause the old dresser that we had was literally from Walmart and like falling apart. We've had it for like six or seven years. Um, I still have to put like the knobs on this. They're not on it yet. We literally just took it out of the box. But this is the paint color we did in the walls here. It's like a grayish. It's like a beigey gray, which is what I wanted in here. I feel like over here, you can see the gray a little bit better. Basically in our old house, our bedroom was a very cool toned gray that it looked almost blue and just everything was gray and I was just like over it. I was like, I want more like warm neutrals in here. Like I want to do tans and taupes. So I brought that in with the paint color and I'm very happy with it. It's beautiful. It's Sherman Williams, a new gray. If y'all care about paint colors. Um, Cause I want this room to be a mix of like, not just grays, but also different colors too. So that's kind of why I went with the more warmer tone on the walls. And then they did do the ceiling in here too. So we have like the white trim and they did like the kind of vaulted ceiling thing. And I have a new fixture coming for there, which should hopefully be here and maybe tomorrow. Just another thing for Steven to put together. <laughs> He's in a cranky mood right now. He won't even look at the camera. <laughs> I know, so do I. I think your hair and my hair are an indication of how we're feeling right now. <gasps> Is that for the bed? Oh my God. That is a lot. Oh my goodness. <sighs> this is gonna take forever. Not very happy at this moment. Steven's putting the last slat in. Yay! It's so pretty. <laughs> Do you like it? Sure. I was helpful. Tell them I was helpful. You were helpful. <laughs> I'm gonna go to sleep now. I know, we're so tired. Yeah, it's literally after midnight. We have both. The first two hours. And we've been up since like, I don't even know, like seven. So 
we're a little sleepy. We'll put the mattress on it now and probably just like put that same blanket we've been sleeping on. And I think it's time for us to go to sleep. Good night. All right, you guys, so I'm so excited because our stairs and our foyer have been all done. It looks so good. I'm so happy. I love the white with the black railing. And then we did all iron spindles going up. It just looks so pretty. It's exactly how I wanted it to be, which I'm so happy about. So this whole area is pretty much done at this point. The only thing we have left to do is we are gonna be replacing this chandelier. I ordered a new one, but it has not come in yet. So that's coming, but we have all the painting and the floors and everything in this area is all done. And it just looks so, so pretty, like a completely transformed and different space. So I'm really, really happy about it and happy how everything came out. All right, you guys, so that's gonna be it for today's vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I love you so much, and I'll see you very soon in our next vlog. Bye.